I am here at Bullbjerg, the only bird cliff in Denmark to do bird photography with this new lens. If you're new to the channel, my name is Morten Hilmer and I'm a professional wildlife photographer. I'm also a Nikon European ambassador and a few days ago I got this new lens in the post and uh, I've been photographing wildlife and birds for like yeah, three days now. And today I'm out here for the first time to try to use it for birds in flight. This is a pre-production model of the 400mm f4.5 S and um, I'm really, really curious to see what it can do. Normally I would not use a tripod for this lens because as you can see it's super compact, it's very, very, very light and um, I'll just shoot it handheld. The purpose of the tripod is so that I can do some recording through the viewfinder of the Nikon Z9 so you can actually have a little idea about what's going on. I will try to record the viewfinder when I'm hand holding the lens but uh, who knows how that'll turn out. But uh, enough talking, let's go and do some bird photography. Even though this lens is 4.5 wide open, I was shooting a 5.6 to get a little more headroom in the depth of field when the birds were coming very close to me. Because this is a pre-production uh, model of the 400mm, I'm not really allowed to talk about the specs and stuff like that, but uh, these of you who know my channel will know that I don't really do that anyway. But what I'm allowed to do and what I am doing right now is doing bird photography. And I reckon that's what really matters. So if you're here for a decent review of the lens, don't waste your time. This is just nature and bird photography. With that out of the way, look at these wonderful kid awakes. I like to test lenses photographing these birds because they are super fast, they move erratically, they are uh, unpredictable and it's just really nice to test out autofocus systems and new lenses to see how fast they are. So uh, my favorite spot for that. But uh, yeah, let's go and see if we can uh, capture these birds when they are flying like crazy. When testing the autofocus speed of a new lens and uh, the, you can say, the autofocus confidence and new camera body, I like to focus on something very close to me and then to something very far away and then different subjects with different contrast and that often gives me a good idea about what I can expect. And yeah, as you can see, this one looks really good. It just calls for taking it off and shoot handheld because, yeah, it's so light, so that's what I'm going to do, just for a little bit. It's, <laughs> it's really nice. And, you know, also when on the tripod, because the camera is so heavy, you know, the, the balance point of this thing is like somewhere, somewhere with a screw here or something like that. So it's, it's really nice. So when I hold here, it's just like, yeah. I mean, I think I can almost hold it with like one thumb and the fingers here without like, without, you know, when I handheld my 600, it's like this and this, but uh, it's nice.
So yeah, as I said, it is a pre-production model. So I don't know if it w is compatible with my uh, 1.4 like set converter, but I'm definitely going to try just because if, uh, if it works, uh, it's going to be like a 560 uh, millimeter, very compact and really good for my travels. So, yeah. Yeah, let's get rid of when we I'm just going to handheld now just uh, just to try and that makes it just a little bit easier to handle. It definitely does work. Awesome. Holy moly. It's now a 560 millimeter per uh, 6.3 and uh, yeah. I want you to look through the viewfinder because uh, it's nice. It's fast. With the 1.4 tail converter, the lens is 6.3 wide open, but I shot at 7.1 again to benefit from having a little more headroom in the depth of field. These of you who have followed me for a while know that I also make a lot of nature video and I can't wait to use this lens in my photo blind because out of focus and vibration reduction are so quiet that I can use my direction microphone directly on the camera without picking up the sound from the camera itself. To do a birds in flight with a lens for the first time, I came here a little late because I was faffing around in my photo blind back home, and uh, I just just wanted to spend this hour out here trying out to see how was the autofocus, uh, how nice was it to use, and uh, it is really nice. Uh, I just think it's nice to uh, like have a small lens that I'm able to put my converter on, still have the fast autofocus, and it's definitely, it's not always that I can bring like a 428 or a 604 um, because it's heavy and big. And then it's nice to, to get some alternatives, uh, something that can like fill out these needs. So that's awesome, cheers. Some lenses are really portable and flexible and other are less flexible but a little faster with the outer focus and as always a lot of things with lenses that's why we don't just have one lens i i guess there's not many of you who have just found the perfect lens and stick with that for the rest of your life i mean for me it's all about when i'm starting to work on a new project it demand like different things like when I was on my expedition to the Ellesmere Island, 
I needed flexibility and something that could with a long reach. And now I'm working a lot from a photo blind. I'm going in a photo blind tomorrow with this fellow. And there I don't care about portability. I just need a heavy tripod, a fast lens and yeah, something really sharp. And then like day like today, portability is very uh, important because it let me just handheld the lens and be more flexible and yeah. What I really, really like is the uh, speed of the autofocus with and without converter. That little uh, converter give me a 560 millimeter f6.3 uh, and I like that reach. So uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm going into my photo blind to do some uh, mammals like wildlife photography and um, then I'm going in my uh, little garden or like my land outside the farm to photograph flowers and insects if there will be a day without wind here in the west coast. So I will have the lens for a little while and uh, I'm going to try it out because yeah it's really nice and lightweight and hopefully there's not too much sand and salt in it right now. It probably needs a clean so uh, yeah see you out there.